My name is Christy Wallace. I work for the U.S. Geological Survey Alaska Volcano Observatory, and my job here at the observatory is focused on volcanic ash. In Alaska, the primary hazard uh, from our volcanoes is volcanic ash. So we spend a lot of time processing samples and trying to better understand our explosive volcanism in Alaska. This looks like a container full of rocks. This was erupted during the 2006 eruption of Augustine Volcano. So it came from the ash cloud, fell on the island, and so the larger particles fell out very quickly. Whereas in that very same cloud that was carried from Augustine Island over to Homer, you have this material. So these two samples are the same. They're the same cloud. This material fell out quickly, and this one fell out much further away, but they're the same stuff. This is just pulverized rock. It also makes sense why when you breathe this material in, whether you're a human or a car, it can be very abrasive and get stuck in your lungs or get stuck in your, your vehicle and start abrading mechanical parts. If you were flying through an ash cloud and really, again, it's just pulverized rock, your windows would become abraded to the point where you can't see them anymore. Generally in Alaska, most of our um, ashfall events are relatively minor, and from the Bogoslav eruption, we don't expect more than minor to trace amounts of ash, and so um, major impacts are not expected to infrastructure or health. So still the main hazard from ash from Bogoslav is to aviation.